So Britain's biggest industry is financial services. And that's not just the city of London and Canary Wharf. Every town and city has got insurance companies, used to have bank branches, fewer of those now. But it is the biggest employer in this country. It matters. And in terms of our earnings from overseas, it's the most important thing for that category that we do. The whole thing is regulated by an organisation called the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority. Now, in my day, the Bank of England had a lot more to do with it. Now it's the FCA. And this is really interesting. Why have the FCA said nothing as this debanking scandal has grown over the last few years? You know, we're now being told maybe up to a million people when their bank account shut. Something is seriously wrong with legislation, something is seriously wrong with compliance, and in the case of people like me, illegally, bank accounts are being shut because of people's opinions. Do you know what the FCA have been doing? They have been pushing the diversity and inclusion agenda. Yep, that's right. They want to make sure that companies that work in financial services not only comply with their view of diversity and inclusion, but also work to save the planet. They've got a guy there called Sheldon Mills. He's the executive director. Goes around saying, we will actually, as a regulator, judge financial companies if they meet these criteria. And these are all hard left ideas of changing the function of society. Nothing to do with customers, their money. They've completely lost their way. Well, I'm pleased to say that I have managed to get a bit of action out of them. Firstly, the Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, wrote to the FCA saying they must urgently investigate why people's bank accounts are being closed and whether they're for political reasons and for opinions. And the FCA have written to the 25 biggest banks and building societies to say, by August 25th, we want to know in the last few months who you've closed down and why. And overnight, interestingly, the FCA are going to write to all politically exposed persons. That means councillors, MPs, judges, senior army officers. There's about 90,000 people on this ridiculous politically exposed person list to find out whether they or their families are in trouble with debanking. So we've kicked them into some sort of action. Now you may say to me, who gives a damn about politically exposed persons? I'm not one of them. But actually, if the cost of going into public life is that not just you, but your kids, your parents, your friends might finish up losing bank accounts, might finish up being discriminated against, that puts good people off going into public life. So it does matter. So look, I've got a bit of progress on these things. We are getting somewhere. Remember, if you've been closed down, go to accountclosed.org. We're putting together a big list of people who've been treated really badly by the system. And I want to just absolutely assure you uh, far from this campaign being over, I've hardly started yet.